You're watching Let's Chat. I'm here this morning with my great friend, Dr. Elaine Swafford, who is CEO of the Chattanooga Girls Leadership Academy to tell us all about the 11th annual golf event you have coming up. Well, thank you for having me. I'm so honored to get to know you this morning and to hear all about your, your life and, and everything you're doing, especially for CGLA. Tell me about this event. Well, the Chattanooga Girls Leadership Academy, as you said, we're in our 11th uh, annual golf classic, and we hold that uh, each, well, for the past few years, many years, at Creeks Bend Golf Course. And uh, the, the event is put on strictly uh, to assist our young ladies in doing the extra things that we try to do for kids. For instance, every time we take a kid on a workplace mentoring trip, it helps me pay for the buses. Or yes. if, a, if a young lady wants to take the ACT, and they do, if they want to take it multiple times, these funds help me pay uh, for those girls to take the ACT. And so without that help, you know, our kids would get a couple of waivers, but beyond that, they wouldn't get to take it again. And so they can take it multiple times to improve their scores. And, you know, that's paying off. That's that's the one thing about uh, being prudent with our funds. Our kids' scores uh, are holding steady because they study. We buy, we buy a ACT book for every kid wow. out of these funds. So right. anyways, the golf tournament is, is held every year just to help with those causes. What, who can participate and how can they get tickets so anyone can participate and it's not exactly a ticket but we have a four person select shot team and okay. so that means that we have sponsorship levels wow. and so it goes from you can have a silver sponsorship or a gold sponsorship so that's anywhere from twelve hundred dollars a team up to a platinum sponsorship up to ten thousand and we've got one of those this year as a matter of fact so uh, we appreciate the support that the community gives us and if they're not interested in a team then they can buy a whole sponsorship I and so that. that's advertised on the holes around the course right. with a great sign uh, with the t with the person's the company's logo and that's two hundred and fifty dollars and so uh, you know you can support different ways what are the best things CGLA offers its students well, we offer students hope. I mean, oh, if you ask yes. me just right off the bat, and we offer excellence. You know, we have, I had a, a student who went to Tennessee State this year, and I got a text back from her recently, and she said to us, you know, CGLA prepared us for this, right? right? And so we offer students an opportunity to access things that they normally might not have that opportunity to do. And again, that's not free, right? All these supplies, the teacher salaries, all, Absolutely. all this comes from funding. Because Chattanooga Girls Leadership Academy, you know, it's a public charter school, which means there's no cost to attend. But I'll put it this way. If we receive, say, $9,200 from state funds each year for our kids, we spend probably 14000 per kid. So we fundraise so that we can do the extra and fill that gap on the things that I, you know, some of the... Uh, opportunities that I was talking about for the girls earlier. So how fulfilling is this work for you as their CEO to get texts back like that or to hear success stories of these students that maybe not have otherwise have succeeded if not for this school? Well, you know, we have a great team. You know, our faculty, we have a team, right? Right. And it's gratifying for all of us. And if not for, you know, uh, Teacher Appreciation Week is coming up. You know, they have the, I said just last week at an event, you know, teachers have the most important hardest job in the world. I totally And so agree. we get those texts back because of the work uh, that our team puts into our young ladies. So how would parents uh, maybe hope to, that their daughter could attend this school? Uh, it's a it's a application lottery process right. in the state of Tennessee. It's first come first serve as to who gets to attend uh, a public charter school. And, um, and speaking of first come first serve, uh, we're looking for 25 teams for this golf tournament and then we teams. stop and so okay. that's kind of a first come first serve as well. I've heard it's one of the best tournaments in town after 11 years. Uh, we, serve a, we serve a lunch, we serve a dinner to our golfers uh, and if they're interested in participating they can simply call the school at 423. 
702-7230 or email me at Elaine Swafford uh, at cglaonline.com. I love it. You just took care of this whole interview. You're a perfect <laughs> person. Just, just let you out the mic and keep us informed. I love this. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank Marco you for Swafford. having me and we look forward to hopefully uh, having a full course at, uh, on June 1st. Thank you, Dr. Swafford. June 1st, go check out the 11th annual Chattanooga Girls Leadership Academy Golf Tournament at Creeks Bend Golf Course. Thank you so much for Thank coming you. on.